Hey guys, it's me Megan, and today I'm going to be showing you guys all my Proclaimer images in my collection. And I'm going to be showing you all my images on my walls too. So yeah, and now I know everyone was suspecting me to upload Peppa Pig's boyfriend, but unfortunately, I don't know when I'm going to get Peppa Pig's boyfriend out because apparently I was so busy, but I'm hopefully... Able, I hope I will be able to get Peppa Pig's boyfriend um, out, especially, and I will also be getting the tutorial of how you can get rid of the logo off your Getty images. And yeah, and if you like this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more amazing videos like this. And also make sure you follow me on my socials, Instagram and my Snap TikTok. I also have my Snapchat. Anyways, let's get on start on my collection. Okay, so first off, we're gonna be starting my collection by showing you guys the proclaimers back in the day. So apparently, like you can say the classic proclaimer images, like from a long time ago. So yeah, let me show you the classic proclaimer images of the proclaimers back in the younger day. Or whatever you wanna say. So yeah, here's all the proclaimers from back in the day. And I'm putting them in order from portrait to horizontal or something. Vertical, I think. Yeah. And also this proclaimer image is small because apparently that's what it looked like. <laughs> Sorry if it's crossing up. This one too. But I there was a black background in this but I cut it up. But yeah. Anywho, let's continue working through my the classic proclaimer images. Oh, and I also have a similar image which is up on my wall. It's that one over there. It's in color, but I put it up for my own printer. But let's continue working through the classic proclaimer images. Whoops. <laughs> oh, he's worth the classic proclaimer images where they are so young back in their younger days. And this one is just an album cover of the Hit the Highway. I have the Hit the Highway album, but I wanted to print that. And that's it for my classic proclaimer images. Yeah. Man, the proclaimers really did change back in the day. I love the classic images though. I think the classic images are good. Alright, now on to the next category of images of the proclaimers. Okay, and now for the next category, I'm going to be showing you guys some images of the proclaimers with fans and with other people too. Now, as a disclaimer, I know it's going to be weird that I printed the proclaimers with fans, but it's because of what I wanted to do. So yeah, I'm going to be showing you the proclaimers with fans. And the proclaimers with other people too. So, yeah. And these are all from Instagram, by the way. I might even show you a tutorial of how to do this, but I've seen a tutorial of it on YouTube already, but I will show you in another video how you can do that. And yeah, they are showing you what you should be doing on my video, giving it a thumbs up. If you give it a thumbs up, it will it will help my video blow up. And yeah, and I will be continuing to do videos if we get that video to 100 likes. And that's basically all my images of the proclaimers with fans and other people, men. I don't know how many I have, <laughs> but let's go on to the next proclaimers category. Hold on, I need to put these together. Eventually. Okay, there we go. We got them together. Now we'll put them to the side and we'll move on to the next category of proclaimer images. Okay, for my next proclaimer images, it's gonna be the proclaimer images that have these specific outfits on. And yeah, there's not a lot, but here's the one of ups. And if it and if the images are hard to see it because of my weight, so yeah, but it's okay. 
And these are all my images of the Pokemons with these outfits. And I do have some on my wall here, but they have the Getty logo, as you can see. And yeah. But yeah, that's all my images with the exact same outfits. Now let's move on to the next Proclaimers um, category. Okay, as I was saying, next up I'm going to be showing you some pictures where in the photos Charlie Reed's not wearing his glasses, but Craig is, so yeah. And apparently, I used to hate it when Charlie Reed had his glasses off, but now I think it's okay. Let me show you. Charlie Reed without his glasses. In that one. In this 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 one too. The other one too. And yeah. Oh, and I have another one. One second. Okay, so yeah, I actually have two more where Charlie's on wearing his glasses in these ones. And yeah, these are all my photos where it shows Craig Reed with glasses, but Charlie Reed not. Yeah, pretty hateful that I hate Charlie Reed without glasses, but now let's move on to the other Pokemon category and put this in with the rest of the categories. There we go. Okay guys, so I have some of my Oami images. I don't think I have much of my Oami images, but we'll see. So, here's all my images from the company Oami. Now, back in the day, I did not like Oami because of the A's around the images, but now I'm starting to like it. And that's basically all my images from the company Oami. I do have some in color too, and yeah. And also, guys, I forgot to show you, but that 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 image of the Pokémon doesn't have Charlie without his glasses. And over there, there's another one with the Pokémon with someone. And I also have two pictures of the Pokémon with David Tennant, who was the guy from Doctor Strange. And there's another one where they're smiling. You can't see it, but yeah, and yeah. Yeah, so I forgot to show you guys those in my collection, but I might put them in my collection so we see how much images I have at the end of the video. Okay, now we're going to move on to the next images, but let me figure that out once. Okay, guys, I think it's right if I show you all my images, and then I will show you my images on my wall. I took it some down from my wall, but I'll show you guys my wall images that I have. So yeah, for this one, I'm just going to show you my program images in order. <laughs> Don't mind quick mouth like that. Oh, and some images will include the programmers on their own, but I will tell you about this in a moment. And also, as a fun fact, this was my very first image of the programmers I ever got printed. Well, this one wasn't my original print. As you can see above, that one's my first ever image, but I remedied that and it's on my wall because, yeah. But yeah, this was my very first image of the Pokémon's ever printed. And this one is just Charlie Reed with his wife Patricia Reed, which I wonder about that on Getty. And here's my favorite image of the Pokémon's. Yeah, and some images, they'll be my favorite images. So yeah. Hold on a minute. Everyone, give me a minute. Okay, actually, we'll just continue. I was going to say... I was going to show you guys the Pokémon in these outfits, but because I have those images up on my wall, as you can see over there, and over there, and over there where Craig doesn't want to be here, but I'm not going to do that. We'll just continue with this. And also, this is just Craig on his own, and Charlie on his own. I did have those small images of them, but they were too small. And here's Charlie on his own too. And I have a black and white, and I have a color image of them on top. So yeah, basically for my black and white images, I don't put them on my wall because I I want I want my wall to only have color images of the programmers and not in black and white. But maybe I'll take down my maybe I'll take down my color images and just hang up the black and white ones. 
but I don't know. I'll figure that out later. And maybe I'll reprint my pictures without cover to cover. But I don't want to waste print or ink because, and this is Craig Reed on his own. And my other favorite Pokemon image. And this is the same one as my other one, but they have four bodies. Well, not really. And this one is new to me. And these two images ended up being printed small. Oh, I forgot to add that to the collection where Charlie's not wearing his glasses. Well, it's added to my collection of where Charlie's not wearing his glasses. I love these images. And also, I'll do the grand counting at the end of the video, so stay around. But I will speed it up, so me counting them. And there's another one where Craig doesn't want to be here. I don't know why Craig doesn't want to be here, but he doesn't give a flick about my YouTube channel. I'm sorry about that. But here's my images, regardless. And yep, that's all my programmer images. Now we're going to move on to my wall. Just let me take a second to move them on into my collection. There we go. Now let's move on to my wall. Okay, guys. Now we're moving on to my wall of images. So basically, yes. So basically, I take in my images to school and I put them up on the wall. And yeah, and as you can see, I have some of the images that have the gay logo on it. And that I put it up on my wall because I reprinted the images that don't have the Getty logo. And yeah, basically my Getty logo images are on here. And up there is just my black and white Charlie Weed pictures. And over there is my Charlie Weed wall where it's just Charlie Weed. And my Eddie Mudson poster is still there. But I'm planning on buying a Paul Kramer's poster. Like customizing it. I will tell you in a minute. But yeah. Here's my images of the programmers that I brought into school already. I haven't brought that to school, but I'm not going to bring that to school. And here's and here's Ch and here's the picture of Craig where he doesn't want to be here, as you can tell by his face. He looks so scared and he doesn't want to be here, but whatever. And as you can see, we have the programmers with a woman right there drinking drinks. And behind my mannequins of the of the programmers is the picture of the programmers with David Tennant and I told you about smiling and the programmers are recording you but I know it's just a picture and yeah there's the other programmer images and my very first one and the programmers with microphones and as you can see underneath the the programmers right there there's the a little programmer image and here's more little programmer images and there's the reprint of my black and white one with the programmers with a man and yeah, it ended up small. And here's my other images. And yeah. And here's the programmers. And it's the Angry Cyclist pose. And this one. It's the same as this one. But they ha are, have their arms crossed. And they're standing like that. And the programmers look like I'm in. I don't know. But yeah. Yeah. And we have the programmers there. And you can see. By Craig's face, don't want to be here, but look what Charlie's holding. Some, whatever you want to call it, a drinking addiction. And that black and white image I just kept on my wall, it's meant to be like that. And yeah, as the programmers with fans, the color ones I kept up there. And here's another photo where Craig doesn't want to be here, as you can see by this face. Yeah. And there's the programmers and sunglasses from the programmers' credit card, which I'll link down below. And... I'll put the card on top so you can watch it. But yeah, that's all my images on my wall. And now for the moment of truth, guys. I'm going to be counting my programmer images to see how much I have counted. So I'm going to get started on counting on them. And I'll let you know the grand total by the end. Two very boring minutes later. Okay, I've counted even my wall images. I think I have 142, I think. I don't know. But the images in color don't count. I don't know. But yeah, guys, I think that's the to total of images I have. But yeah, and I want to say thank you for watching this video. Now, I hope this video got into where you see my programmer collection. And yeah, and if you like this collection video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more awesome videos. And yeah, and also make sure you follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and I'll also put my Snapchat down below too. 
So yeah, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one.